Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new here joining me today, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to participate and get involved, but I just like to do makeup which is much more natural and wearable. So in today's video, I am going to be using some Danessa Myricks products. Danessa is a makeup artist. She has her own beauty line. She's a photographer. She does her own retouching. She's a creative director. She does a lot um, when it comes to beauty. And she, I don't know how she manages to do it, but she can do really like beauty, like editorial looks, but then do stuff that's really creative and avant-garde but still always has like a beauty theme running through it. So I thought today um, I am going to do, well, I'm gonna try and do what Danessa does. I have a few skin products, a few um, highlighters and quite a lot of the um, vision cover creams and some of the eye products as well. So I'm going to try my best to um, do what Danessa could do, would do and do a beauty based look. First of all, I'm gonna start off with the Smooth FX, and this is a silicone based primer that helps to minimize pores. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this, and this is no shade to Danessa. Oh, it feels different actually. But generally, I don't like silicone based primers because they always feel really heavy on my skin, but this one actually, I'm eating my words, doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't have a smell, which is nice. It makes your skin feel really smooth. Hmm, okay. I stand corrected. I'll just use some of my forehead. It's weird. In the bottle, it looks like the YSL Blur Primer. It's got like the little gold flecks in it, but on close inspection, when I look on my face, I can't see any bits of gold, whereas with the YSL one, I could. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Then I'm going to be using some of the Illuminating Veil. So this colour I'm taking is Goddess which is a real golden colour. Then I'm taking some of the colour Attraction, which is a bit more of a rose gold in comparison. I'll show you that. And with these products, a little bit goes a long way. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my fingers first and just mix them together and just place them where I want the highlight to be. So I'm doing this before I do my foundation so I get that glow coming through. And now I'm just taking the brush and really working it in and just blending it all underneath here. So you can see it gives a really, really intense glow to the skin, but I love it. I'm actually wearing this vest on, on purpose. I had to wear a vest, I didn't want it to look like I was naked, but I'm gonna do some body makeup as well. So I'm gonna use the same colors and just place them on my collarbones and then blend that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Vision Cover Cream and I am going to use W, was it W6 or W5? Let's try a little bit of, no, W5 as the color in the center of my face. And you can see I'm not putting a lot on because I've played with this already and you get a lot for your money. The coverage is so intense, you really don't need that much. I'm taking a buffing brush from Real Techniques and I'm just spritzing it with a tiny bit of Fix Plus. And I'm gonna use this to polish this into my skin. It gives such a great finish to the skin. I don't know what it wears like. There's quite a creamy based um, product. So I'm not sure how it's going to wear, but it looks incredible on. And it smells like rose, it's really nice. Then I'm taking some W6 and using that on the lower half of my face. I'm gonna spritz my brush again and then just buff this in. put too much on my forehead so I'm going to take some and just redistribute that here. Then I'm taking W9 just to blend into the hairline a bit better so my forehead's a bit darker up there. Then I'm going to use the same colour as um, some cream contour. 
And you can see I'm using like minuscule amounts. I'm gonna blend that in with the same brush. So now to make my concealer color, I'm gonna take some W5 on my hand here and a teeny tiny bit of W3, which is really peachy. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm gonna use my finger to mix them together and then just go in and press that on my dark circles. Then I'm taking a medium shadow brush and real techniques and just buffing that in to the rest of my skin. Gosh, now with all that excitement, I've forgotten to do my brows. So I'm gonna do my brows now. So I'm just taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso, my usual, and brushing up Struggleina and then the Good Brow. And then just filling them in quickly. Then I'm mixing again, W5 a tiny bit with a little bit of W6, just to get a color to mix for underneath my brows. And I'm taking a 228 brush from MAC, just mixing them together. And then I'm going to go in and just sculpt out my brows a bit more. Then I'm taking the Colour Fix, and this has got a 24 hour wear, so it's an amazing product. You can use it on the eyes, lips, or cheeks. The colour that I'm taking is chocolate. I'm gonna use this to do a bit of a smoky eye. I am using a Expert Concealer Brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to start blending this on my eyelid. It's got a really warm, ready undertone to it. It's really pretty. I'm just taking it up to my crease and then buffing it out. Taking a 217 from MAC and just blending that edge. I'm taking a 233, which is a MAC brush as well, and I'm just going to use this to run the colour underneath my eye as well. Then I'm taking a 223 from Zoeva and just blending this colour underneath my eye and pulling it out a little bit. So now that I've got my base layer on, I'm just going to go in and intensify on the lids a bit more. Then I'm taking a 228 from Zoeva and just really working the edge of this shadow because I want it to be really smooth and seamless. I kind of left my brows soft on purpose because I knew that the eye was going to be so much stronger today. And I really love how the glow of the highlighters underneath is peeking through the foundation. Okay, now I'm taking a black pencil and just creating a bit of lush drama. But I'm just going to do an outer V on the eye today. I'm going to resist doing mine the whole way along. Then I'll take a pencil brush and just blend that through. Then I'm running the cold pencil on the inside waterline because I really cannot stand black. Uh, around the lash line but not in the waterline especially on me because my waterline is naturally dark anyway so it just looks it looks like it should be darker so I just blend that in Ooh, this is nice okay and then this side too
And now I'm gonna take some more and try this as a lip color. It's pretty cool how you can use these everywhere on the face. So I know I haven't done my mascara yet. This makeup is not in order at all because it's new products and I don't know why that always happens to me when I try new stuff, it throws the order that I do things in, but I digress. I'm going onto my lips now. Take this lip balm off. Okay, let's give this a bash. Small mirror, small mirror. Let's just do the top lip. nice okay wow it looks so different as well it looks much browner on my lips and redder on my eyes this is so cool okay so now I am going to do a tiny bit of blush I don't have a blusher hmm what can I create okay well I'm gonna go back to this color fix I only got two colors I got like a shimmery gunmetally gray color called iconic and I got chocolate but chocolate seems to be working better with this makeup that I've got on today so I'm going to take some of the desire highlighter and I'm going to mix basically Danessa Marek is a woman after my own heart because she's the queen of mixing oh yeah look at that Ooh, okay oh that is so pretty I'm just gonna get a clean brush so I can see a bit of a hard edge here and just blend here does that show up on camera so nice okay let's do the same on the other side Okay, I'm going to take a bit more of the desire and just pop it up here. And I'm taking a 130 brush from MAC and just blending that in. Oh, this is so pretty. I really love this um, desire colour, so I'm actually going to take it onto my eyelids now and just... Um, Wipe it onto my fingers just so I don't get too much product deposited in one place. And yes, just tap that on here. And then do the same on the other eye. This is so pretty. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to go onto mascara. And I'm not going to use my extended play today, surprise, surprise, because I want my lashes to look really heavy. I don't really want separation, so I'm just going to go full peg with my Inxtreme 3D Black Lash Mascara. I might even put gloss on this lid later. We'll see how I feel. But for now, let's just go in and turn up the volume on these lashes. Yeah, it needs drama, this eye look. It can't be, like, too delicate. The lashes have to be really bold. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Then I'm going to go quite heavy on my bottom lashes today as well, which I never usually do, but I think it's going to work really well with this look. Yeah, that's nice. Now I'm going to go in and set everything. So... I love this makeup, I love how this looks, so vampy and dark. I am taking a, what brush is this? A concealer blender brush from Backstage Beauty. It's really similar to the Real Techniques um, setting brush. And I'm just gonna go under my eyes and along the top of my cheekbone here. 
then I'm taking a contour brush just to soften it and blend it in. I really love this powder, it's got such a really nice um, softening quality to the makeup. Like really blurs everything. And then I'm using the remnants that's left on the brush and just going over my nose. Then I'm going into the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Deep. Just open that and shake some out. And this time I'm just going to go back in with the Backstage Beauty brush and just set this foundation in place. definitely my forehead now you see why I didn't put any highlight on there because it just shines on its own it never needs it so I'm just going to uh, take this down a couple of uh, watts oh and there you have it guys that's the final look for today it's definitely more full coverage than I would normally wear that's because I'm really new to the products so I didn't know how much I needed it gives you total coverage I think you could probably cover tattoos with this and not have to do any color correction underneath it Oh, no, let me try some gloss, okay? I'm gonna try some gloss, one second. So I'm just taking some clear lip gloss from MAC. It's very sticky, but my eyelids don't touch, so it doesn't really matter if the gloss is sticky for me, but they do do one in the Pro Store, which is glossy, but not sticky. Oh my goodness. Look at that shine. Look at that. Woohoo! That is so nice. Okay, where can I wear this makeup to? Because going to Waitrose or Playgroup is really not going to cut it with this look. I've got to go, ah, ah. I'm actually going to use some gloss as inner corner highlight today as opposed to a shadow or a shimmer. And just make sure that I really blend the edge of this gloss. So now you have it guys, that's it, that's the final look. Really glossy eyelid, super matte lip. I love the contrast, you know me, I like contrasting textures as well as colours, so I love this really matte lip with this glossy eye. I love the glow that this, um, that the, uh, what are they called? I love the glow that the illuminating veils give underneath. I just really, really like this makeup. It's not something that I would normally wear at all because it is like totally out there for me, but I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm a bit excited, I need to calm down. Calm down, Stace. This is just so much fun for me to do. Like, I really enjoy sitting down doing these videos because I wear makeup on YouTube that I wouldn't normally wear in real life and I always feel like I'm teaching myself something so yeah it's really fun so that's it if you don't know um Danessa has a master class on the 3rd of June in London check her out I think she's on Eventbrite I'll see if I can find the link and leave it in my description box below but there you have it it's a really glossy vampy monochromatic look it was really fun to do um if you don't already follow me on my instagram i'll leave my handle for you here i do lives on my sundays <laughs> on my sundays i do lives on my channel on sundays at 9 30 gmt so if you're interested and you'd like to see how i do makeup live you can watch me there i think that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye